Hey guys, Ivan here at ivanmana.com, and in this video, I want to show you how to create a rotator with Click Magic. Now, just to be clear, a rotator is not to be confused with split testing. If you want to split test your offers and see which one converts better, you have to use the split testing feature. Check out my video on how to split test with tracking links. It's an earlier video, but the same concepts apply. Rotators is more so if you're selling clicks, if you're part of a co-op, or if you want to rotate different offers and not see how they actually do, if the conversions aren't important to you, you would use rotators. So let's get straight into it. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is click on create new rotator. So click on rotators at the top, click on create new rotator. And now we're going to fill in the blanks. Now we will be using these two landing pages that we created in Unbounce. Check out my Unbounce playlist to learn how to create these pages. Uh, this is a 53% conversion rate landing page that we created completely from scratch. So if you want to know how to do that in Unbounce, check out that video up above. That being said, let's start by creating the rotator. So uh, let's go from top to bottom. We have to fill in the blanks. So the first option here is asking for the rotator group. So I already have two groups here, one called Ted's Woodworking, one called New Rotator Group that I created. You might not have anything. If you don't, just click on tools here, go to group manager and create a group for rotators. Very simple to do. And once you do that, you will be able to select your group. Next, we're going to enter the rotator name. So in this case, we want to rotate these two completely unrelated products. So I'm just going to call it YouTube Rotator. Uh, but you would make the name that suits you because once you have a lot of rotators, you obviously want to be able to refer to it later on. Now here, uh, this is the only URL you can select. So this is going to be your rotator link once we finish this rotator. If you want to create a custom domain like www.myrotator.com or whatever it is, um, follow my video on how to set up a custom tracking domain. I will put the link above as well. Follow the process, very simple, and you can set that up. That being said, we have to enter a rotator slug. So this is a word that comes after the link and it's just going to be 4 to 20 characters long, something for your reference as well. However, if you are going to be sharing this rotator anywhere, people will see this slug. So make sure that it's relevant to the topic you're promoting. In this case, let's say maybe YouTube rotator. All right, looks good. Now, the next thing we have to do is add the rotator mode. So the rotator mode, we have four modes here. If you want more details and examples as to each of the modes, you can click on this little question mark icon here and it's going to take you to an FAQ. But basically to briefly go over them, fulfillment mode means that once you create the rotator and you add the rotator URLs, so the specific URLs you want to rotate, um, when someone clicks on this rotator link, they will, everyone will go to the very first URL until the maximum number of clicks has been reached, which you will specify. Everyone's going to go to that first URL until the max clicks has been specified. Then they move on to the next one, then the third one. Okay, that's how fulfillment works. Next, we have spillover. So when somebody lands on your first rotator URL, the next time that same person clicks on your rotator link, they will move on to the second URL and then the third and then the fourth. So every new person that visits your link will come to the very top of, the, of all the URLs that you have. But then every subsequent visit, they will go on from URL 1 to 2 to 3, okay? Um, again, if you want uh, examples, just click on this link here and you will know exactly what this is. Random is just that if you have three, for example, URLs, every person that, goes, that clicks on your rotator link will go and hit a completely random URL. Next, we have the sequential mode. So every new person that lands on your rotator link they will first go to the first URL, and then the next person that clicks on your rotator link, they will visit the second URL. Then the next person that clicks on your rotator URL, they will see the third URL, and so on, and it just keeps going from top to bottom. Okay, that's what sequential is. So for our case, let's just select spill or uh, fulfillment, which is just the basic uh, rotator mode. Next, we have the backup URL. So if the maximum number of clicks, for example, has been reached for all of your URLs. Where do you want people to go to? And in our case, uh, let's say we want people to just go to this website, uh, tedswoodwork.live. Okay, so we're just going to put that here. And we will be using this exact URL later on as one of the URLs. But this is just a backup. If something goes wrong, if someone enters your URL incorrectly, this is where they're going to go to. Okay, so we're going to create rotator. 
So now what we did is we created this container. Now we have to actually enter the URLs, okay? So we're gonna click on this little wrench icon, click on add URLs, and we're gonna enter our URLs here. So let's enter the first name. It's gonna be this offer here, which is uh, paid ad network courses. So we can say paid ad network courses, and we're gonna enter, we're gonna copy it, and we're gonna paste that here. We can say it's active, and we're gonna click on add rotator URL. Now, before we do that, if you go to URL settings, you can specify all these options here. So the position, or do you want this to be the very first URL or the second or the third? The max number of clicks, the max daily clicks, any bonus clicks, minimum T1, max T1. If you're a solo ad vendor, these are probably really familiar to you. If not, just click on this little question mark icon here, and you're gonna see an FAQ that goes through everything. But let's say we want 100 maximum clicks on this URL. We go back to basic, make sure everything is good here, and we'll click add URL. And that's it, we have successfully added this URL. So if we go here, you know, this, your, this specific URL in the rotator has now zero out of 100 clicks. Now let's suppose we wanna add another URL. We're gonna go here, we're gonna copy this custom keto diet. We're gonna go back here, again, add URLs. We're gonna delete that and paste this here. And let's say custom keto diet. We'll make it active. For URL settings, let's say we want the maximum of 150 clicks for this URL. Go back to basic, make sure it's all good here. Click on add rotator URL, and that's it. So now we've successfully added these two URLs to our rotator. So if you click on this rotator, if, you, if someone clicks on this link here, so if we preview this, they will land on one of the two rotators. So if we refresh, and we go back here, we see that we got one total click, one unique click, but we also got one total click for this specific URL, okay? And we can go in, we can pause the URL, we can archive it, um, and that's basically how it works. You can rearrange this like that. Now notice that this is fulfillment mode, so the user first went to the very top URL, right? So until we get 100 clicks with fulfillment mode, the user will not go down to the next one here, okay? And that's basically it. If you select any of the URLs here, you can update the changes here. You can add pixels, uh, add a schedule. So it's uh, so uh, if you add a schedule, the rotator will this URL will automatically be unpaused or it'll be active from a certain date to a certain date. You can geo target. You can say what countries you want to include or exclude. Uh, you can get an email when when all clicks have been delivered and miscellaneous settings. You can add notes or enter a skip URL check if um, Click Magic gives you a warning that the URL you entered is incorrect you can just click skip and you know that's gonna go away same thing with this rotator uh, pixels you can add pixels you can send automatic emails to people letting them know that their order was started and finished if you're a vendor uh, you can add mobile iOS URL again geo targeting uh, filter uh, you can decide what you want to do with for example bot traffic so bots do you want to just flag them or do you want to you know do nothing uh, with them or block them entirely that's up to you and then miscellaneous, again, same thing. You can add notes or you can blank refers so that once you start seeing where the traffic is coming from, people will not be able to see the referral source. So over here, the referral source is Click Magic. We click from Click Magic. That will be hidden otherwise. And that's pretty much it. Again, this is gonna be your rotator link, okay? And that's the link you're gonna send and it will rotate between these two URLs. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my Click Magic playlist to see all the 50 or 60 plus videos I have about various topics related to Click Magic. Or check out my Unbounce playlist uh, where I teach you how to create landing page from scratch, how to uh, really optimize it, make it perfect, add a custom domain, add a favicon, uh, start sending traffic to it, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.